We are at Iron Valley Golf Club in Lebanon for the third annual Jared Audrick charity golf outing. As you can see, the weather did not play nice today, so the golf was canceled, but the fans got a chance to meet and greet with Jared Audrick. We had a chance to sit down with the former Lebanon and Penn State football star. A lot's changed in a year since we sat here last year. You're still playing football in Florida, but now you're in Jacksonville as opposed to Miami. What's the transition been like to the Jags? Uh, it's been good. It's been smooth, smoother than anticipated. Uh, you know, just the whole free agency period was, uh, was quick. It was really quick, but you know, it was, it was really obvious, um, you know, where I should be going. You know, uh, the Jags, you know, they really had a, a plan for me uh, and, and a carved out role for me uh, right away. There's a lot of opportunity in Jacksonville, you know, and you know, the, the city motto is, you know, city on the rise. And, you know, it actually feels like that, you know, it really does. And there's been so much positivity since being there. Uh, the coaching staff, the organization, to the fans, and it's it's been a real change of pace, but I've really enjoyed, uh, enjoyed it so far. This is important! Hey, defense, come on, man! You mentioned Gus. He's a higher-energy guy. What's it like playing for that, you know, guy who's considered to be a defensive mastermind? Yeah, he's, uh, he's great. He's awesome, and, you know, and he'll talk about defense anywhere. You know, we're walking in the hall to a meeting. He'll stop and draw something up on the ground, you know, and then, you know, we're, uh, you know, we're at lunch and he's using, you know, you know, food to, to draw up a play or, you know, kind of describe how he's. You're like, get your hands role. off my food, man. Yeah. I'm I got to eat that. <laughs> no, but he's, you know, he's been awesome and he's so positive and, you know, it's almost like you're, you're waiting for, you know, uh, for the positivity or just the upbeat uh, attitude to break at some point. It doesn't, you know, that's just who he is. And it's pretty cool to be around that. Do you feel like it, this is a team on the cusp? of turning that corner. There's a lot of young guys on this team and there's a lot of young talent. You know, we have a lot of uh, raw athleticism on the team. You know, there's just, you know, a lot of athletes. And so uh, I think this year, you know, we're going to be able to, you know, figure it out and put it together and use this raw athleticism. Your roster's got four Penn State guys on it now. I mean, you played with, you were at Penn State when Paul was there, right? Yes. Paul was there. Yeah, my freshman year. What's it like being on the defensive side of the ball with him again? It's been pretty cool. It's been pretty cool. You know, it's, you know, somebody familiar, familiar face. Uh, you know, some, you know, that you've been in a locker room with before you kind of have a, you know, general idea of what his attitude towards, uh, you know, his work day and, you know, football and, you know, and, you know other things in general. Uh, but, you know, it, you know, you almost forget how on point Puzz was with, you know, just play calling. And I think that's what makes him, you know, so great and such a, you know, a great role model. All right. You're a TV star now, apparently. Yeah. That's what I'm hearing. <laughs> You're on HBO? Yes, I made a cameo on a show, yeah, called yeah. Ballers. How, Ballers, what was that like? Um, it was pretty cool, you know, and you're learning all these different things that go into uh, creating movie magic, you know. So the thing is, is that... Uh, Were you movie magic on the camera? I'd like to believe so. <laughs> uh, I'd That's like, half the battle. Yeah, I'd like to, to believe smile so. smile and pretend that you yeah. know what you're doing. Yeah, so once they told me I had dialogue, I was, you know, it was like, okay, you know, and I tried to... And I tried to. Oh, so you had a couple lines. Maybe one or two. Do you even have any bread? No. You know, it's, it was very interesting. It's something that I would, you know, love to do again if given the opportunity. Your organization doing great things in the area. I know the weather didn't exactly cooperate, but how important is it to you to be able to come back and give back to, to everybody that helped you along the way? Well, yeah, and you know what's what's funny, but like, you know, it's recognizable, and you can see. Uh, the same people uh, that you know that helped me throughout my time here in Lebanon and the Central Pennsylvania area, the same people here at this tournament, you know, the same people that are helping me put this on, the same people that are that are here while I'm in Jacksonville or anywhere else in Florida, um, you know, putting this together. Um, you know, obviously we all correspond via email, phone, and technology helps us out a lot. But uh, you know, when you're here doing the things and transporting physical things and shaking people's hands and having meetings and and uh, you know, I can't say enough about the people that you know, really made this happen who, who are here in Pennsylvania and in, in Lebanon. The money raised from today's event goes to Operation Give Back. They send the money to local charities including veterans, emergency services, and other charitable organizations. At Iron Valley Golf Course, Josh Reed, ABC 27 Sports.